Okay, uh, so welcome to this next video in the playlist on antibiotics and antibiotic resistance. Okay, uh, so in this video what we're going to do is we're going to look in general at uh, the mechanisms by which bacteria can, can become resistant to our antibiotics which we are using to treat them basically. So mechanisms of drug resistance is what we're going to look at. And we're specifically looking at mechanisms of drug resistance in uh, bacteria. Uh, and obviously, therefore, the drugs are antibiotics. Because, of course, you can also get drug resistance uh, in many other scenarios. For instance, cancer uh, cells can become resistant to uh, anti-cancer chemotherapy. And, of course, um, other um, pathogens um, can be treated with um, drugs and they can become resistant to them as well. But antibiotic resistance is a huge topic. So we're looking at mechanisms of antibiotic resistance, maybe. Okay, uh, so uh, there are, roughly speaking, five sort of distinct mechanisms by which uh, bacteria can develop resistance to our drugs. So the first mechanism by which a bacterium could um, develop resistance to our drugs is by creating an enzyme which is going to destroy the drug, basically. An enzyme uh, to destroy the drug, basically. So to destroy drug molecule. And the archetypal um, example of this is the beta-lactamase enzyme, which is made by many species of bacteria to degrade uh, penicillin antibiotics. Well, in fact, it degrades more than just penicillin. It degrades other beta-lactam antibiotics as well. So an example of this would be uh, the beta-lactamase enzyme, okay, which breaks down beta-lactam antibiotics. So this um, breaks down beta-lactam antibiotics. And basically, uh, beta-lactam antibiotics, the aim of them is to uh, inhibit uh, the peptidoglycan transpeptidase enzyme, uh, which is involved in forming crosslinks between peptidoglycan strands uh, and making a rigid and solid cell wall. So basically, if this is the inner cell membrane, or, well, in the case of gram-positive, it will be the cell membrane. In the case of uh, gram-negative, it's the inner cell membrane of um, the bacterium. The bacterium. Uh, then, um, on its outer surface, what you create, what this bacterium creates, is loads and loads of peptidoglycan strands, basically. So it makes loads and loads of peptidoglycan strands. It covers itself in them. But why is it doing this? Well, it wants to make them into a cell wall. So these are peptidoglycan strands. And the way in which it makes a rigid cell wall from peptidoglycan strands is to uh, form crosslinks, peptide crosslinks, between the peptidoglycan strands. So to make this, uh, these peptidoglycan strands into a rigid peptidoglycan cell wall, what you need to do is you need to crosslink all of the peptido strands uh, together, peptidoglycan strands together. Um, and uh, basically, these crosslinks are made by the enzyme peptidoglycan transpeptidase. And it's also sometimes called the penicillin binding protein. So peptidoglycan transpeptidase performs this uh, reaction which makes, um, which makes these um, uh, peptide links, well, these cross links between the peptidoglycan strands. Transpeptidase. Okay, right. Uh, so if you inhibit that enzyme, then you inhibit the ability of the cell to forge uh, cross links between the peptidoglycan strands. So the cell membrane just, well, the cell wall, sorry, uh, becomes just a bunch of peptidoglycan strands. And um, if it's just peptidoglycan strands, then it's not a solid structure at all. It's just going to it's not it's not rigid at all you've just made a bunch of uh, string basically it's not it's not forming a nice mesh work so um, it doesn't make a rigid and solid cell wall so um, beta-lactam antibiotics are very effective but 
bacteria start to make these enzymes which destroy the, um, destroy the drug molecule before it can inhibit the peptidoglycan transpeptidase enzyme. And that's one mechanism of drug resistance, to create an enzyme which is going to uh, debilitate, disarm the drug, basically. Okay, next, um, next uh, way that we can achieve antibiotic resistance is you can modify the target so that it's no longer susceptible to, um, to the antibiotic. So you can modify the target, which means basically um, you uh, change, um, change the amino acid composition of the protein, because usually it will be a protein that is the target for the drug. You change the amino acid composition so that you change the tertiary structure and therefore the drug may not be able to bind anymore, or, or it may still be able to bind, but it has no effect anymore, so it's totally useless effectively. You can pour the antibiotic on, but it's not going to have any effect. And an example of this, an infamous example of this, is the MRSA bacterium, the methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus. Now, in methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, you do not um, merely um, you do not merely create a beta lactamase. And I should say, methicillin is a type of penicillin. It's an anti-staphylococcal penicillin. So. Um, Methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus. So basically, we cha we created second-generation penicillins in order to um, tackle the problem of beta lactamase resistance against our penicillins. Uh, so we created uh, anti-staphylococcal penicillins such as methicillin, which were resistant to being destroyed by these beta lactamase enzymes. Okay, but what happens? We have a new emerging superbug, methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, which basically is resistant even to methicillin, even to this back, even to this drug that we created to resist beta lactamases. Uh, so this is a horrible, horrible bug, and we're quite scared about it. Uh, and the reason it is completely irresponsive to methicillin is that it's completely changed this enzyme, this peptidoglycan transpeptidase, it's completely changed it so that, you know, we can tip methicillin onto it, but it just doesn't have any effect. It do no longer inhibits that enzyme. So it's not that the, um, the MRSA bacteria are producing an enzyme that's degrading the, the methicillin. No, it's just changed the target, and the methicillin is utterly useless now. Uh, so that's uh, an example of uh, target modification in order to produce uh, drug resistance. Okay, so we'll continue this discussion in the next video.